Welcome to the 148th edition of Spooky Reviews from Spooky Ventures. I'm Gary Hill, your host and reviewer. This time I'm looking at the DVD release of The Pumpkin Man. It seemed to be an appropriate review since tomorrow is Halloween. As you might guess, this movie is centered around Halloween. That's one of the best parts of the film. It has some cool Halloween scenery and moods. It is also a creepy film. There are some great kills. The creature of the pumpkin man is a demonic being summoned in the present day by some teenagers. I say in the present day because the film opens with a scene in the distant past with the pumpkin man being summoned and causing death and mayhem and destruction. While you might wonder why some teenagers would summon such a being, it's pretty standard teen stuff. One of them has an intense fascination with the legend and she brings her friends along for the ride. It is a really dumb move, but exactly the kind of thing teenagers might do. The film almost feels like a mix of Trick or Treat and the Nightmare on Elm Street series in some ways. The Pumpkin Man character, whose actual demonic name is established as Kerbis, has definite traits that remind me of Freddy Krueger. One issue I had with the movie is that they used text messaging popping up on the screen as part of the storytelling. That's not a problem, it's actually kind of clever, except that even on a large screen TV, a lot, what was, a lot of that was hard to read, so you either have to miss some of the story or pause it to be able to read it. The main issue I have with the film, though, is that it has a tendency to be way too slow. I think that the script could have been beefed up a little with more frights, and some of the filler that slows it all down could have wound up on the cutting room floor. Those changes would have moved this movie from the pretty good category and turned it into something really special. As it is, there is enough horror substance here, combined with cool atmosphere, to make it work. There are quite a few bonus features included on this. Uh, among them is a making of featurette. The one that I found the most interesting, though, was something called The Book of Kerbis. And that is a series of short films showcasing other entities beyond Kerbis, but also it includes Kerbis. It's all woven together by a man telling the stories as a warning. It has some inventive kills and creepy stuff built into it, although each scene is actually pretty predictable because the pattern is basically the same from one to the other. So overall, this is a fun piece of Halloween-themed creepiness. Just keep in mind that it does drag at times. Even so, it's worth the effort. Before I sign off here, I'd just like to say, Happy Halloween. Spooky Ventures is the home for spooky content and spooky merchandise on the web. Check it out today at SpookyVentures.com. And remember, always keep it spooky.